Choosing what to write next can be difficult, and sometimes it's easy to get lost in the decision. In this video, I'll be sharing what things I consider when choosing my next writing project. Number one, consider your goals. What you write can depend on what you want out of your next project. If your goal is to enhance your writing skills, choosing a more out there idea might be the best option. But if you're looking to publish, then market trends and what sells might be a bigger influence on your choice. In any case, picture the end goal for this book and see if you can picture where it might take you. Before I started writing Alexia Legends, I was writing this weird kind of YA sci-fi thing, very different from what I'm writing now. I had some back and forth trying to decide if I wanted to keep doing that or go with the next idea, which was this new fantasy series. But in the end, I'm glad that I did decide to switch. Number two is market demands. As always, these videos are geared towards writers in the earliest stages of their journey, so this isn't always something you need to consider. So if you're planning on publishing this book in any form, it definitely makes sense to consider market trends and demands. This is not to say that you should always chase trends, of course, but getting an idea of what's popular and what could be a good fit for you is definitely going to be a good idea. Many authors find great success chasing trends, and it is definitely not a bad thing to write what's popular. But chasing trends is also risky, especially for the first couple of books that you write. This is mainly because of speed. Since I'm much more familiar with the indie market, I will only be touching on those things, but these things may also apply to the traditional market. Trends change really fast in the indie space. So if you can't write and publish that sci-fi academy rom-com of yours really quickly before the trend peaks, then you're probably going to be hearing a lot of dead air in response. So if you're going to be chasing any trends, make sure you do so with caution and lots of research. Number three is trial chapters. Trial chapters are a really great way to feel out a project. Basically, you are making a pilot episode of a TV show, but you yourself are also the TV studio who's going to decide if they will go ahead and make the rest of the series. Most of my trial chapters for the first Alexia Legends books were almost entirely scrapped because I do them before outlining, of course, but this is just a really great way to see how excited you really are about a project. When I was trying to decide if I wanted to stop working on my sci-fi book and work on Alexia Legends, trial chapters were actually the deciding chapter. <laughs> the deciding factor. <laughs> trial chapters were actually the deciding factor. First, I wrote a trial chapter for the sci-fi book, and I didn't like it that much, but I didn't expect to love it because it's a trial chapter. But then I wrote a test chapter for the fantasy book, which would become Alexia Legends, and then I wrote three more. <laughs> I just found the fantasy book a lot easier to write, and I was more excited about it in general. I had all these little ideas and pieces that I was trying to fit together for this sci-fi project. Once I started working on the fantasy one, I realized just how much it wasn't working for me at the time. I also did a lot of free writing about ideas for each of the books, and I found pretty much the same thing happen with those. Pay attention to how it feels like the pieces are fitting together. Do they click well, and are you finding little ways to connect different ideas in a story? Or it, does it kind of feel like you're trying to put a jigsaw puzzle together with a mallet? I found myself constantly coming up with new little ideas for the fantasy book, while the sci-fi book really took a back seat. Try going back and forth between them a few times, because sometimes one day you're just not feeling a project, while another couple days later, that might be the main focus. Also, make sure you allow enough time for shiny new idea syndrome to wear off, and make sure the idea that you're going with is really something that you can be excited about for a long period of time. I enjoyed working on both projects, but knowing myself, I really just need to focus on one, and I wanted to hurry up and publish, so I had to just choose. And number four is excitement. Another thing to consider is just how much you would like the project. If you're trying to decide between two different ideas, See which one pops into your brain more when you're folding laundry. If you're thinking about one way more often than the other, then you're probably more excited to work on it. If you have running notes on multiple ideas, which notes have more words in them? Which ones do you find it easier to add words to? Which notebook page are you opening more often or leaving open on your desk because you know you're going to have another idea for it in 10 minutes so you might as well just not close it? It's not usually how I go about thinking about something, but it is a legitimate consideration when you're going to be working on this book for months and months on end. Which one do you like more? I knew the fantasy book would be a series. I knew it needed more than just one book from basically the beginning, right? So I knew it was a larger commitment than the sci-fi book, but it just felt more like the one I wanted to do. It felt more like the right project to work on. And don't forget that you can always change your mind later. No one is locking you into this commitment. Nothing is holding you to this one idea at this point. You're just coming up with ideas and choosing which one to work on. You're not going to lose a ton of progress just because you wrote five chapters of this one and seven chapters of this one. And I think it's better to take a little more time to choose which one you want to work on than to get partway through a project and then decide you don't like it anymore. It would really, really suck to get halfway through a novel and run out of steam and be so frustrated with it or just not like it anymore that you actually want to quit doing it. And also, it's not Twilight. You don't have to choose just one of these two options. You don't have to choose just Edward or Jacob. You can choose one and then a week later decide you don't want to do that and run away and join the circus instead. Thankfully, I will not have to worry about what to write next because I have 
many a book planned for the series I'm working on now. When I do have to do that, I will refer to this video, because past me has some good ideas sometimes. If you'd like to dive into the world of Alexia, you can check out Age of the Gods, which is a free short story I have available on my website, which I'll link down below. Alright, that's all I got for you, so thanks for watching. Bye!